Just the tip? Just the tip. Guys, this is the crew normies coming at you with a little bit of you. Season 2, episode 2, Just the Tip. Fun fact about Just a Tip, it's a very fun game and everybody fails at it. Yeah. Unless some girls are like, you really just want to do Just a Tip? You're like, no, Just a Tip. And you put Just a Tip. She's like, all right, get the fuck out. You're like, cool. <laughs> or you should have said you wanted the whole thing. Sometimes it's all they can handle. You know what I mean? <laughs> just a tip of my ego. <laughs> it was much bigger than my dick. Sorry. Okay. Well, guys, we're going to find out who the kid in the box is and why he's in the box. Can't really do a lot of speculation. We did a lot of speculation last time. It's a kid in the box? It's a, it's a kid. Oh, I was about to say that. What do you... She's looking for the dick in the box guys up there. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you know? Because I know what she's thinking. I can hear it. It's all in check. Oh, shit. X-rated. Yeah. Damn, actually, that might just to say we're monetization right there. <laughs> <laughs> this is... A lot. Oh my oh, god. Right there too, bro. Was this the microphone sweet? This was necessary. Was it? Yeah. Well, guys, I think we're going to jump right into it. Sir, is this a market? So... Oh. <laughs> guys, this isn't a market substitute. Make sure you support the OG content on your own. Also, feel free to support the normies. We've got the giggles today. If you support us over on Patreon, it means that you're supporting our creative endeavors, but also you get to watch ahead and watch uncuts. And by supporting us on Patreon and seeing our creative endeavors, you know that you help to make sure you know that we can keep on doing this. You guys have been real good to us during the pandemic, and we hope that we've kept you thoroughly entertained. We love y'all. Drop a nice thing down in a comment and tell us how much of a fuckboy Joe is. Pen, fucking Pen Badgley. Badge Pendley. I, I also, I don't, yes, I like saying that name. It's not because I like my own voice. I just like saying Pen Badgley. <laughs> you don't like what kind of person doesn't like their own voice, bro? Everybody. I hate my own voice. Who hates their own voice? Have you ever heard yourself on camera? Hell yeah, no. Yeah. It's so creepy. I, I don't like myself. I used to not like myself on the phone, but I don't give a fuck no more. Let's start. And go! Turn it up. Turn it up. Turn it up. So, so you tell me like Beyonce doesn't like her own voice? What? I didn't say that. She said that. That's her. I hate my own voice. No, no, he's like know. Beyonce, like, you know, like you know, artists and stuff. Like, you know, musical people. Kendrick Lamar doesn't like his own I'm voice. Say, I can't yeah. wait to oh, tell our story dude. to our kids. Jesus, dude. Bro. I know. I find it weird that people in LA wear jackets. Right? Think. It's stupid. Bro, when I was in Miami, people were wearing freaking winter coats at 70 degrees weather, bro. Within minutes, I knew I'm in a strange land, stoned, suspiciously happy lemmings everywhere you look. Who's that dude? Is that Chris D'Elia? Oh my god, it's Chris D'Elia. Oh my god, he's my baby! Well, I hope not anymore. What? He's a creepo. What do you mean? He's with, with me. He was with Whitney. Not anymore. Not anymore. Whitney Cummings was a shit though. Yeah, Whitney Cummings was a shit. He, uh... Send a bunch of creepy messages and try to fuck around with a bunch of underage girls at his comedy shows. No way! He is lecking. God answer. damn, what's wrong? Can't, I can't like nobody nowadays. What the fuck? <laughs> I know, Pat. It's like, it was a hard one for me. I was like, no, no. This is bullshit. Cancel culture sucks. And then I looked it up and I was like, oh. Okay. All right. Never mind. Here's the deal truly airtight, livable ID takes years. The will you see before you, I micro tweeze like a bonsai for a decade. I'm employable, background check me, actual face online, no, but Google me and I feel real. Oh, he took his identity. He, this dude already had a fake identity, he just took it. Mm -hmm. You got the benefit of being a white dude. No one ever suspects shit when it's a white dude. <laughs> Oh. Why? Because he just took his identity instead. He doesn't have any pictures of him online, so that's it. Could have just gotten his identity, man. You could have called the vacuum cleaner dude from Albuquerque, New right. Mexico. Man, you got a penguin replacement part for a Hoover Ninth, whatever the fuck this is. Yep. Joe as well. Without Mr. Mooney's help, took two full days to put this thing together. Stressful doing it with Will watching me tied up. That's it? Two days? It took two days to make this? This cage isn't great. I need light. I need my meds. This isn't going to be good for you. If you want me to consider your needs, just tell me what this guy wants. You charge a fee in advance of meeting. You didn't give him his money back. You have to pay him back. <laughs> you have to pay him back. How much do you owe? Three grand. Three thousand dollars. No problem, it's just 
2,700 more than I had to. Teach a man to fish. You feed him for a lifetime. Teach him how to make a counterfeit book and maybe, just a maybe, he can cobble together a little Nobody. something worth. Three grand, best I can do. What? what? Counterfeited books. Oh, bar was low. He knows how to... Mm -hmm. when the thing back at me, had me do People will pay $3,000? <sighs> Are you okay? You look a little... Oh. Too soon, too much, too good. Yeah, I just wanted to stop thinking about it and just do it. You wanna do it some more? Mm -hmm. It's time to go home. Aww. She's got such an innocent face, you can't hate her. We've known her since she was a little child. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy. And now she's gonna die at the hands of Joe. Oh, oh Beck! They brought her back. They brought her back. <laughs> See, he does, he does have remorse. He has the conscience. Lunch today. He has hallucinations. Huh? He has hallucinations. Yeah, but, but that, those hallucinations are really from because he has regret and remorse. And, and, and from his conscience. And now you want me to meet your friends? I really, really need a clinical distance. Mm -hmm. No. I'd love to. If he had regret, he wouldn't be doing it all over again. Yeah. Or maybe that's it's hard to break out of that cycle because that's what all you know. Oh. Aw, poor, poor Joe. He is in a cycle that he himself yeah, created, and now he cannot get out? Jasper. Oh, that's the guy. I've been having trouble reaching you. But <laughs> here, your money. All 50 grand? Uh, I'm sorry, 50? But I'll need it today. Is that still all right? Oh, God. I think he's a contract oh, killer. Check this out. I want to show you something. Okay. okay. Yeah. What are you doing? Woo! Yes! Over St. Henry's, they have a fantastic microsurgeon, Dr. Dan. As long as you're there in the next 10, 12 hours, good chance to reattach. Provided you have this. Give me a call and you have the rest of the month. Smart man! Such a smart man. That's a good fucking move. Make sure you get your money that way. So they can't run off. Psychopath. But that, that, that's how you get your money, so they can't run off. This is bad. Yeah. Easily leave town bad. That was easy. That was awesome. That is great. Rufus, he owes me 50 large. He's good, he just text him the code word. This is important. When I was eight, I broke my arm and they put a pin in and it's been transmitting. So don't you go to the hospital. They will ship you like a dog. You understand me? Nah, that dude is a good actor for Rufus this role that he's so playing. The cast is the perfect guy. While this feels too easy, right about now the universe owes me a little uh, easy. Bitch, no one owes you shit. Man, I Only jail you, you play like that in Penguin too, yeah, like that. Yeah, that kind of crazy. Yeah. 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 Yes, you get the finger. For the record, I'm openly sobbing. Bro, how does that still not hurt him? You used to be able to text and shit? I mean, he's probably just on a shit of pain meds. Bro, they cut your bone, but no amount of pain meds is gonna fix, like, over the counter pain meds is gonna fix that shit. What can I say? Forty's a dick. He sent me on a run to Alhambra to get a sample of the competition's compostable picnic wear. Why would you lie about that? Why would you come up with a lie she can so easily debunk? Sorry, I wanted to be there. Wanted to be there so much, I decided I had to at least drop by, you know? Oh my gosh. Ah! He's the invisibility cap, he's here. I love it. I, I've like grown to love it kind of now. <laughs> we need that for a skit. Well, he's coming, he's like, <laughs> I'm here. Lucy Sprecher. She met love at a rally for LGBTQ rights. Back then, Lucy was an unpaid intern. Now she's a social savvy power agent whose clients include all the Jennifers, the Cates, and the EU's top selling Instagram poet. How come none of your friends just work at McDonald's? This is the love squad. Teeth achingly, hippy dippy, unaware of a glaring privilege driving their so called conscious choices. Do they secretly want to sleep with you? Bro! 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 Come on! You kissed? I love that. I wish Will did, because I'm um, pretty sure I scared him and now he's avoiding me. And this is it. This is when I get annihilated. Well, then maybe he's an idiot who should go fuck himself. Okay, or maybe he's shy. Love can be a little forthright. Am I too forthright? No. Real men love that shit. Let's, right. let's focus on what is actually important here. Which is? He's over by that bush. We can see. your heart maybe once back in the game. <laughs> oh, look. They're good friends, Joe. I just really thought, you know, I met my soulmate, and that's done. And so the rest of my life will be like, you know, oh, honey, you know, 
Did his neck snap no. suddenly getting out of bed? <laughs> but no one excites me. You know, no one makes me miss them, like James. Now I'll just be doing something random, and I'll miss Will. No. Does he have a sonic ear? Like, aren't there other conversations happening? No. 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 In this restaurant? Maybe you're falling for him a tiny bit. So it should be terrifying. Oh, that's why we're here for you, beautiful. We just bring us all the dessert. Also, you're gonna need to tell her about your reattached finger eventually. Yeah, dude, like love. It's not just something you can hide. That's the real deal. I'm mad. I'm dead. You're gonna walk out in the middle of the street and get run over. Am I losing my mind? Yes. Losing, bitch. It, you bend and lost it. Don't you remember all the wanted murder? Hell. I've arrived. It's called the San Fernando Valley. A party at noon on a Tuesday. I'm with it. On a Tuesday. Right on Tuesday. I would literally lose my job if this was happening. Like, at my apartment, I'd be like, I can't come in, guys. I'm already drunk. <laughs> See, yeah, Rufus! Hey, I'm hey, sorry Rufus. to bother you. Would you have to know if there's a Rufus here? Are you John Mayer? <laughs> kind of. It does kind of look like John Mayer. Your body is one You're a man whore, John. <laughs> oh my god! Sage! That's you next week! Shut up! Are those called banana hammocks? What are those? I think that's called the Super V. Hold on. That's airport guy. Chris DeLea. What's he doing here? That's him. No, it's Handy. Handy? Comedian. Oh, he's playing himself. Hey, hey, Interesting. Uh, kicked cancer. Interesting. He is ostentatiously zen about it. Predictable. Wait a second. This is vacuum guy. Ethan loved this guy. Brexit. F what? Right. Handy's got a. What? Okay. This is hilarious. If Crystalia wasn't, he's playing himself essentially. Friend I'm looking for has a buddy, Rufus. Could you could you maybe point him out for me? Are you kidding me? Hey, what's up, man? Yeah. <laughs> hey, what's up? I'm Chris Lee, yeah. Would you go for the president's curly fries? Oh, sorry, this is Will. <laughs> you go for the president's curly fries. <laughs> Dr. Daniel at St. Henry's Medical Center. If you go, tell him we're friends and he'll hook you up. Thank you. Thanks. Really, I appreciate that. Yeah. I think I remember reading that Chris Lee was in this. I just forgot. <laughs> Rufus? You found me. Lose the clothes if it's all right. Hope you like air supply. Kind of on a ballad jag right now. What? We're not fucking, bro. I'm, I'm here for some other shit. You look different than your picture on the app. It's Todd, right? Actually, I'm here for Battlestar. You're not Will. No, he told me to use the code word. I'm helping him out. <laughs> here, I'm about to blow you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a bunch of drugs. Can I right. sell? Here you go. Oh, no. It's okay if I count it. You shitting me? <laughs> These are pills. Same ones, man. What about the 50 grand? The 50 grand? Would you sell for that blowjob? Uh, how badly do you love love? I love love. I mean, the love one is gonna give him a fucking 50 grand. It turns out Rufus has been supplying OG Will with off-brand Canadian meds for a rather severe bipolar disorder. Keep your poison. Farewell to that small part of Will aspiring to sanity, I guess. You'll feel better. Yeah, and then you take them, fucker, because I don't believe you. You should! Believe me! Believe me when I tell you! I could hand you to Jasper. I wouldn't have your problems anymore. That is true. Mm, yeah, and you'd have a dead will and a fixed finger. So oh, honestly. today. Screaming Terminate. crazy. Love, this is trial by fire for you. I want this series to end with him being burned alive on a stake. Mm. He should have just told Jasper the truth. Yeah, he should have. Didn't know that dude was gonna cut his hand out. He looks so unimposing, and then suddenly. <laughs> so yeah, I want to show you something real quick. Come over here. <laughs> Put your finger off. Oh my God! What happened? Oh, it's it's nothing. Oh no no no! no, no, no. What no, no. did you do? It's, 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 it's cut. It's nothing. What, what do you want to talk to me about? The tip of your finger's missing, dog. This is what a literal flag? red flag. Forty bad alibi. He's been telling me everything since we were born. Ah! Shit. Is Forty your brother? My twin brother. <gasps> Which he can be. Twin thing! You were also lying. What? 
No, so when you get casted as in role, is that always stay Netflix? with you? Yeah, like, what the <laughs> hell? She really hurt you. My husband hurt me too. Among other things, by dying. So I understand why this is hard for you. It's also why I just say things now. Because you know, there was things I was waiting to say to him. I think it's a mistake to do the bullshit thing that you're doing. No, it's not bullshit. Yes, it it's is. Hope. You don't need to run away. Please, no. Stop. You can stop. Please, please, please stop. Yeah, she never come back, yeah. Mm. That's a red flag. Yeah. She never come back. Ooh. You don't need to take me out. I lied to you. So you're sorry. Yeah, he's... Yeah. This sucks. Okay, maybe she's out of the show forever. Maybe she's just survived. Why are you here? You actually lost a lot of blood today, Joe. Is that where you are? I lost blood. Really all in on this one. I guess that's you, right? You. Don't try to do it right this time. As opposed to with me. What went wrong with me, Joe? You found out. You went snooping. You are not. Look at me. You are not here. I am not arguing with you. You should probably be taking them Canadian match to work. <laughs> <laughs> I am not Will Battle High. This is. Well, this is a first for me. <laughs> are you so happy? My name is Joe Goldberg. I just needed his name and his life for a little while. So you put him in a Hannibal Lecter thing. I see that. I assume you realize that you need psychiatric help? <laughs> 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 Seth the killer. He took your money. Take him. Well, if you couldn't get it out of him, you sure now? You don't have to do this. You don't have to. <laughs> Bitch. What? You're some kind of super unsupposing psycho killer and you go down this easily? Right. Oof. That's gotta hurt his hand. Oh, he had a plan for it. Look. He even had the plastic there. Oh, he planned this? I think he had the plastic right there. I think we had it planned, right? No. no. You don't understand. I do. Trying to survive. He wanted to hurt me. Yeah, that's self-defense. I loved you more than I've ever. And you hurt me. Oh, you choked her? Look at me, Joe. It takes two minutes for a motherfucker to die when you're choking them. Damn. You're not afraid love will hurt you. You're afraid you'll hurt her. Oh, uh, survey so says... Bling, 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 bling. Number one I'm answer. Sure. Please stay. Please. Oh, I wanted real will to be like, dude, you're fucking nuts. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> you mean real fake will? What is happening now? What is he? Is he gonna kill the other one now too? Might as well just. Well, the other one can't. There's, there's no reason to kill him. I mean, what are you gonna do with him? You gotta let him go. Yeah. After let you him. finish taking his. Was right. Stick to the plane, you know. Yeah. My hope now is that you can turn me into something better. Oh, yep. This is Dexter. Yep. He's the Bay Harbor Butcher all over again. Oh, oh I, they're even doing the Dexter cuts. Yeah. Like this, this feels like an homage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Oh, we should cook Bro, like how this can you, how can you puke if you're going to kill somebody? Come on, man. Killing somebody, I think, might be a lot easier than cutting up their body. And smelling all that. Yeah, yeah. What are you just planning on hiding this shit? You gotta put it in separate trash bags, drop it off in dumpsters all over the city. Oh, he's gonna process it, actually. You better clean the processor afterwards, dude. You better clean the what, entire What does future. processor do? You'll see. Oh, one of those. That's cool. It's a good looking pie. Come on. But like, you have to thoroughly clean this processor, my guy. How do you clean it? I don't know, you better know how to take the fucking thing apart. He works there. I'm glad you kissed me. It did not seem like it. I was so freaked out, not because you did it, because of how it felt. I want it, but I can't have it. She really hurt you, huh? She stole my heart. She was mm -hmm. a she-devil. I hurt her. I hurt her. Oh. oh. He changed. Oh, oh he's changing. Jeez. His change is growing, y'all. Yeah. To a better killer. I mean, I have to believe that hurting her was the last thing you wanted to do, right? Yeah. Yeah. You don't get all that goodness and possibility with zero risk, but... Well, you cannot hurt me. You. Uh, I want to believe that. Uh, ask Peach, as Candace, ask okay. Bet. We just call this a friendship. That might help. Okay. Poof. Friends. Uh oh, he's in the zone now. Mm -hmm. I felt the same way about James. And you know, I don't want to sound corny, but I did this thing where I took a bunch of his stuff and I put it in a box and I- Set it on fire. Like on the ocean. Oh. Maybe he's gonna do the same. I really want to hold on to things. It's not. <laughs> um, you can just. You, know, you can't really make that uh, plexiglass float, can you? 
Maybe he can get rid of all his stupid trophies that he has. Mm-hmm. So he doesn't get caught. He has a plexiglass box off. Whatever you call this. Murder. I feel bad. Like I did something. You're just in the line of fire when Henderson, if we go back, we met like eight years ago when I was dancing at this bar downtown. Is this a new girl you're going to be into? How does he just always surrounded by all these writers and book nerds? Right. I had young girls around. One day I was at his place. I had like three sips of beer and I got so fucked up. Oh God. <laughs> oh, oh no. no. Years ago you, you were like... 17. <gasps> oh my God, he's playing himself. Isn't this weird? It's, it, this was filmed before everything. This is so creepy, bro. He was playing this character. Right, and he was okay playing this. Like, did the Netflix not know about this? They, this didn't happen until like a few months ago. Oh, this, the Chris Jonathan, okay. My math says 49% of humanity deserves to die in a fire. You won't do that. You, like, you nod as if you're somehow not one of them. You? Yeah, sorry. Nice, because you're not. Damn. Stay the fuck away from me and my sister, okay? You tell him, girl. He's gonna steal her panties. Damn, she told him. Ooh. I like her. She's my new blight. She's now your new peach? She's my season two blight. She's like a peach. She's I a love peach. her. No, she's blight. She's hot like peach, she's too. Blight. At one point, I thought I saw you murder a guy. <laughs> crazy town. Weren't you dead you asleep? You were in a cage. Yeah. How is that a stretch? How is that crazy? If I was in a cage, I could, I could easily believe that you could kill somebody, bro. I guess it's goodbye, Beck. Beck or Vera Quinn. Goodbye, I'm you. I'm sorry. You. I really am. You. I'm sorry, I'm done. There's a lot of you references. You. Oh, okay. <laughs> you said you were going to stop doing it 30 minutes ago. You I know, but they, they keep doing it. They're like, yeah, yeah. Oh. The hole in the wall. The yes. old hole in the wall. Is this where you're going to keep your trophies? I made mistakes, yes. But you still keep them. You're yeah. dumbass, you don't learn from them! Prove. I I'm told you! Those told are Bex you! Of you. Are those Bex? No, he took it from the laundry. Uh, okay, from her. Oh no, never mind. It's Bex. The panty thief? No. Why does he uh, need panties? He needs some dirty boys so he can sniff them. They smell like umami and shit. <gasps> he totally. does smell them! Oh my god! I swear I'm not Joe. How many pairs of panties you didn't stole? <laughs> no, but you know, he's. I know we'll get there. Sm smell some panties. Bro, this. man, hide this shit better. Shit. That's, oh my god, burn it. That's not hiding it. Wait, he, he's gonna get caught. He out. Ugh. You don't learn. His landlord lady's gonna come in and see that shit. Like, Yo, uh, you got a hole in a wall full of dirty drawers, and like, this is why I don't fuck with you. You're such a creep. Stay with my sister. Please she stay with my sister. Is the best. This was a fun episode. Again, Crystalia, what a weird, what a weird thing. You know, reality. What do you call it when art imitating, imitating reality. reality in the creepiest way? That's fucking. Maybe they secretly knew. You know, people in Hollywood be knowing shit, and they wrote this. Like the whole thing with um, fucking Kevin, Kevin uh, Spacey. I know. I was gonna say uh, R. Kelly. Like my mom had a boyfriend back in the '90s. So it was like R. Kelly, like them young girls. Everybody in Chicago know that. Or yeah. Right? yeah, like. And I mean, nobody did shit back then. I mean, he's a celebrity, bro. They know. Know. But he, he's a celebrity now. You still gonna do stuff now? Well, the world finally caught up to actually trying to punish celebrities thanks to the Me Too movement. Finally, Dave fucking Chappelle late. literally pointed this out years ago too with his peeing song. Remember? Yeah, the like second episode of Boondocks is like the People versus R. Kelly. Like it is like this is a known thing. I ah uh, ah uh, man. They, uh, I, I like. I, I'm, I'm starting to like this season more. It's uh, it's, it's getting there. How did you not like? Yeah, you I liked it already. It's still, him creating the plexiglass prison is a little bit like okay. I gotta just kind of all right, all right, whatever. I believe it. But <laughs> uh, yeah, him murdering the dude. I thought that would be an adversary we'd see for a few episodes, but because he was just such a good, unimposing actor, like yeah. I didn't yeah. expect him to be all. I, didn't, I thought he, he was had, be vicious. He had the um, the Negan problem. Like, yeah. Negan first... Spoilers for Walking Dead. Negan first shows up and kills two people with a baseball bat, and then after that, he gives leniency to people. Like, if this guy... If the first thing he does to Joe is slice off his finger, like, every single time he shows up, he needs to do something ridiculous. You know what I mean? Take another finger. So, like, every other... Because then, the, otherwise, he starts showing up, and you're like, ah, oh, like, he was just bullshitting. But, like, if you... If a motherfucker means business, shows up, cut your finger off, he's like, you got 12 hours to get me shit, bro, or I'm coming back. Like, I mean, that was only the second time. He was going to kill Joe. Yeah, he was going to kill going Oh, yeah, he was just coming back for murder. Then. So, like, dude had to go. Because otherwise, he'd have came back and been like, oh, no, I was just kidding. I think I could use you for something. Like, oh, man. Like, they hyped this dude up to be a super badass. 
The only thing my problem with him is that like he died from an easily right. should have been a winnable knife fight. This guy, in fact, when he cut off his finger, he held his hand down, put the knife there, raised it up, and chopped down. Right? There wasn't a whole like like if anybody here tried, I think that's because I've seen them do it on uh, other shows. That that's like the most optimal way to cut off a finger. Like motherfuckers that aren't professionals don't know that they probably like struggle to like get the knife yeah, and hold your hands down. That. that dude did this shit like he's done it before. So like I just assumed that he was like some kind. He of... He did go down quite easy. Like yeah. knife fight aficionado or some shit, and he was like, oh. I've never seen Marquetta cheer so much more during watching the show when his finger came off. <laughs> she literally screamed in my ear. I was like, oh, God. It was just a tip. Just oh, a tip! That's what the tip was. <laughs> ah. So, you think he's over Beck now? Like, he's not going to see those wishes anymore? He, he just had to burn the piece of paper? I think he'll still be haunted by her because he still feels bad for what he's done. We don't know. Remember with the whole Candace thing? Like when he was when uh, Ethan was like, yeah, it was like sweats for weeks, man, and then you appeared back. So like, this is his like sweats for weeks situation, where like he's probably really in the throes of it and still emotionally feeling the guilt of killing the girl he was in love with. I don't know. This time it's more like he confronted it, most of the Candace. Like she, yeah, she was like, oh, I'm, I'm betting you didn't want to hurt her, right? And I don't <laughs> know. It's almost like he somehow had a catharsis there, even though it was a little warped. Burning a little piece of paper is all it takes. Yeah. You hurt somebody real bad, you know, like kill them. You just burn some paper with their name on it, you'd be fine. Mm-hmm. For real? No, Pat. Most I mean, you know, no, you never know. I don't know. You have the belongings burning in a campfire or like. You know. I'm going to go out on a limb and say if that's how easy it was to emotionally get over being a cold blooded killer, that more people would do it. Okay, yeah. A cold blooded killer, I don't know. I was talking about relationship problems. <laughs> oh, no, relationship <laughs> problems. Sure, that's cathartic. You know, you burn a little photo, but I'm talking about straight up. My friend being like, doo, 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 doo. you did. <laughs> you did. Damn. Wipe yourself off, man. You did. What else happened on <laughs> nice. the show? Um, uh, let's see. Oh, we got the party. Hindi is going to be a figure in it, obviously. Uh, very LA party, middle of the day. God, I miss just God. carefree life, day drinking. This is why we we're going to move to LA to be real YouTubers, you know, where we could just <laughs> smoke weed and butt chug vodka all day with all the other YouTubers. Butt we were going to go to PewDiePie's house and just kind of hang out. I want to go to Jake Paul. I want to go to Jake Paul's house. I heard it's got a big ass house. I would absolutely fist fight Jake Paul. That is not listed <laughs> hey, in our hey, objective. I, I think Jake Paul's trying to fight somebody like a national he boxer. I mean, he doesn't, want, his name, he doesn't want to fight me, not because he knows that he would lose, but because I'm not good enough for his ratings. Nobody really wants it. I would just do it out of catharsis. He, Jake I Paul's bet you, a fucking he's Hey, Jake really Paul, you trying to fight bro. my boy Chris over here? He's throwing Probably. quarantine parties over there. He is. Right. Uh, wasn't God. he swatted or something recently? No, they, it wasn't even swatted. They were just like, bro, like you FBI. fucking up. They can't, yeah, they, they took the shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got a raid. I like Peach. But why? I like how Peach, uh, not Peach. Uh, uh, Delilah. De- lo- love. Delilah. I like Love's, fr- how her friends are actually like good friends. And like yeah. Joe is struggling to find something bad about them. Like, you know what I mean? Like, what, what can you really find that on them? Oh, she's close to the gay guy. Well, he's not gay. He's, what is he? He's pansexual. Pansexual. Pan. pansexual. Yeah. And he's, uh... I mean, you could do, you could do, you could find some bad advice. It's just like, they're not really... I think like he was right with, like, them not understanding, like, their obvious privilege and how they're able to make the decisions they make. But, yeah. I mean, that's kind what, of a what thing that's going have, on though? with everybody I mean, else. they live well, a good life. I think they, it's they, money. Yeah. I would assume. Money. They live well, a good I, life. Does he know shit about them? How do you know you you're sitting there on that, you, oh, you sitting said, there on that weekday, on a, you know, on a day, on a nice day. You said what could be wrong restaurant. with them. And I said I think that's probably the only thing that he would have right about them based off of the fact that they're like upper middle class fucking L.A. people. But what I'm saying, I mean, we don't have any information on it. I'm yeah. just saying that that's the one thing he but, said. That's probably the only thing that yeah you can bring up against Also them. just being like too much of a, you know, a lovey-dovey that could, that could, that could also be a bad thing. <laughs> Yeah. Also, man, the job of uh, laying ladies down on yoga pillows and just fingering them, you'd get really tight forearm muscles, and you'd probably make a lot of money. If you could do two a day... Is that like, really his job? Like, two at a time? Like, like your DJ? <laughs> Is that really his job? Like, was he just, like, mm-hmm. over-embellishing shit and making it up? Like um, I, I'd say guru. $30 a pop. What do you think that goes for? At least 60 a pop. I'm looking... 60 That's a lot. I'm looking up that actor right now, because he looks so familiar. Who? Or, Captain, how much would you pay the for The finger-banging yoga guy. I wouldn't. How much would you pay for such a service? I wouldn't. So you're selling 60? Okay, Marquette says for free is how much the service cost. Fucking pen bag. Oh, you're missing out. Pen bag. Because uh, we could both be making money. If you do two a day, I do two a day or two an hour. You were asking me if I would pay for it. No, I'm asking how much would you charge to give the service? 
like a blowjob? No, you, you're giving like finger job? jobs to ladies. Finger jobs? Yeah, you're jilling them off. That's like jacking off. Jilling them off. Jilling them off. Like one, one fifty. <laughs> one fifty. One fifty. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, blowjobs only twenty bucks. Right you, this where? Good twenty fifty fifty five uh, six street. Tim Street, you get a blowjob for twenty bucks. Tim Street, nah, you get a blowjob for ten. I guarantee that. That's not even a fucking question. Yeah, well. The point, all right. Um, back onto the story. Back onto uh, the topic. What is Joe gonna do with Will? Some Russian doll. That's Will is a little. Um, I feel like a little too complacent for being in the case, but maybe he understands that he actually does have a chance of survival because they're both like criminals, and he's like, whatever. It's not because Joe also knows that like when Will gets out, the worst thing that Will could do is like hurt Joe, but he can't go to the cops. So yeah, like, because he already was making shit up about his own. Yeah. Name. So for Will, like they, I think they're actually in a symbiotic relationship where Will does have a chance of surviving this. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, it's it's a little weird how like content he is with the situation. Yeah. But, you know. Well, maybe guess, it's because he spent all his time hiding his identity that he's already built a cage for himself, and being physically in a cage is no different than being mentally in the cage that already entraps him. God damn it, Chris! You're, God damn it, sir! Good. Chris, you're fucking there, good. Chris. Uh, Marquetta, what did Marquetta, what did you think about this episode? I did not like it. Why not? No. What are you doing? Your elbow was a little dry. I'm just helping out. Dry weenus. Why are you doing this? Oh, that's just on Netflix now? Mm. Dry weenus? I did not like this episode because I feel like it is just being, it's repetitive and we're not really getting anywhere. I feel like a lot of it was stalling from actually like moving the plot forward. So, um, also the guy just like showing up and being dead within one episode was kind of yeah. like another like a, a buffer you know what i mean yeah I, I just this episode personally was like probably one of my least favorites i understand that a lot of happened in terms of like his relationship with uh, love like they actually had a conversation they tried to like figure things out she helped him burn a fucking letter oh my god <laughs> she was helping him to get through, like, you know, be a better man. They are like, going through like, a lot this, of relationships. Yeah. If she was helping him to be a better man, she would just send him to the jail. And just... Ah, but she don't know he's a killer. Nah, yeah. Also, like, the, you know what, I'm not, I'm not gonna shit on it anymore. I'm just like, this episode was really draining for me, so... I did not <laughs> like it. I'm just gonna be honest. My also, I did not fun. like that we didn't see any of Candace this episode, because... Are you the worried The finale now? ended on a cliff note that, you know, she would be integral. The fucking poster for season two has her on it. Does it? And yeah. And in the very first episode, she's like, I'm gonna get ya. And then the second episode. Dun, 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 dun. Well, maybe it's what Chris said. She's gonna show up like halfway If she shows through. up in the end of like the season mm. as like. I think they're gonna do something. Um, I think they're gonna like do, maybe do like some sort of a thing where they show us the progression of her checking his ass down. Like maybe halfway. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I'm telling you, that's just gonna have to come to head. Like. Episode four, bro. Episode five at the fucking latest. Like that's yeah. the that's the only thing that I, I think that I can uh, like I'd be okay with. Because otherwise, like if the thing that search just happens, like if they just get to the end of the season and bring her back, I, I'll be really. They're gonna be back at the fucking coffee shop in, in right? New York. She'll be like, <laughs> eating so... fries and milkshake. And the next season, he runs again, and then they avoid it again until yeah. they know it's the final season. Of the Which NFL. is literally Pretty Little Liars. They do that, and it's terrible. No, Pretty Little Liars. You're trying to find out who A is. Who's we don't know who A is. How much of it have you seen? I've seen none of it. I swear <laughs> to God. I, I swear to God, I watched three seasons and I don't know how. I mean, and then like season four started and there was just a thing that happened and I was like... You find out who A is. Put the TV, just throw it out the window. All right, guys. Anyway, we'll see you later. I hope that the next one's going to be better. Yeah. Bye. 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 Thanks for watching You with the Normies. Check us out on Patreon for early access and uncut content. Special shout out to our super patrons, Aaron, Eleanor, Explorin' Dylan, Joe, Light Yagami, Michael, Puffy, Ricky, Ruby, Nick, Bystander, Tristan, I Eat Pink Tacos, Keyboard Junkie, the NYR fan, and ZJP. And we'll see you all next time.